To begin, we will need a Sharpie or another black marker, a pencil, and our coloring tools for today. We will be using black, brown, green. I have two options for green and brown today. That is up to you. And orange. I am using colored pencils, but you can use different coloring tools of your choice. And today we are drawing Rowlet. I also have a tan or a peach color. We will begin by drawing some simple shapes starting with a circle for Rowlet's body. Then we will add a figure eight or two circles combined for his eye area. Next we will add in his nose or beak area. This is an oval shape combined with some light triangle shapes. His beak is pointing straight at us today and is open. So I'm going to use some angle of the lines to show that. I will also show his tongue inside his mouth with some simple lines. And next I'm going to add even more ovals for his eye shapes. A larger oval finished with a small circle inside. Next, we will add in details to Rowlet's chest. He has a bow shape made from leaves. I'm going to use two pointed oval shapes combined for this. And next, I will add a zigzag style line to split his top half of his body from his bottom half, some layered feathers, and I will start to create his feet. I'm using some curved lines to create his Feet here, he has his claws clenched while he is flying, and he shows three toes on each foot. Next, I will begin to add his wings. We have his wings outstretched today, and I'm going to start with the middle area, kind of lined up with the bottom of his eye or the middle of his nose. And I see three feathers pointing out from his wings as well. He has a large set of feathers and an inside set of feathers. similar shapes on the other side for his second pair of wings. On this side he is turned more towards us so we can see the feathers sticking out from the side of his body as well. going to outline Rowlet with a black tool. I am using a thin sharpie here, but you can use any black tool you have. A black pen, a black marker, a black colored pencil, or a crayon. 
This defines the lines we created and also gives more of an appearance of that Pokemon style. Many of the um, drawings in this style are outlined in black marker and all of those details really stand out when we do this. After I outline, I will look for any pencil lines that I did not need to outline that might be extra or that might be sticking out as you can see in Rowlet's wings at this point that I'm going to erase before I color. It's a lot easier to outline before I color. It's easier to see those lines and see which ones I might have missed. will be ready to begin adding color to Rowlet. I am going to begin by laying down his main colors, starting with a light brown in his outside wings and the top of his head.
Next up, we will begin adding Rowlet's green areas. These are mainly in his bow tie area, his tail, and the inside of his wings. Rowlet's orange areas, including his beak and his feet. some pink into Rowlet's mouth and some dark areas, dark brown or black. Rowlet's eyes are also a dark brown color. of his beak and his belly.
We can either pause and complete roll it as soon as we fill in all of his areas, or we can add in some shading. Here I am adding in some shading by using a little bit more pressure at the bottom of Rowlet's stomach to create a darker area and I will continue to do that with either a darker version of the same color such as I am doing here on Rowlet's wings with a dark brown or I will use the same color with a little bit more pressure with my colored pencil and this makes Rowlet look a lot more three dimensional. This is your choice and can be an experiment for you on how you finish your artwork. with some last minute finishing touches and I will sign my work usually with my initials or my name in the year we completed it. Don't forget to share your work with me on the OutSchool Classroom. Have a great day!